What's up guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. So a couple of days ago I ordered this gaming chair off of Amazon and today it's finally here. I'm going to go ahead and unbox this, build it and then also give you an overview of what I think about the chair. The box was quite heavy, it weighs about 20 kilograms and yeah let's get straight into the unboxing. Okay, so as we open the box, we can see the cushion and the chair is very nicely packaged up. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all the packaging and lay all the pieces on the floor. So I just unpackaged the chair. As you can see, there is quite a few parts. The back, the actual seat, the footrest, two pillows, the arms, the levers to move up and down, and the bottom, the base. Everything here is pretty high quality. It's not plastic. It's all metal and the cushions are really nice they're really foamy and even the armrests have pretty good padding other gaming chairs in the same price point don't really have that padding on the arms so this is an additional bonus to this gaming chair so I'm gonna go ahead take this manual out start building I'll take you guys and show you how I did it this packaging came out of this box and there's this other piece of metal here don't know what it's for yet, but we're going to find out real soon. So inside of this box, we have our nuts, bolts, tooling, and our wheels. And this part, I think it's our cylinder, which will give us the height. And yeah, let's start building. Step one is to grab this base, turn it upside down, and install the wheels. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Second step is install this piece right here. It's right here. So I'm going to do these two things first. Got that done. Step four, five is about the seat, the footrest, and our mechanical lever that's going to move us up and down. So I'll tell you which screws you need. You need four of the S100s, which are these ones right here in the middle. And I'm going to install this and show you guys after. Got the footrest installed and this is how it works. You're going to have to push it this way and now you got your footrest and your chair. This thing slides underneath. Now I'm going to go ahead and install this piece right here underneath the seat. The next step is to grab this piece and put underneath this. We got the mechanical lever and we also got the footrest installed. So let's go ahead and do that. So far so good. The instruction manual is really helpful and it really goes step by step. Really easy to follow. Let's pull the footrest out for you guys to see. Comes out. Flip this on top. And there you go. Got your footrest. The seat is nice and long. It's wide. And it goes up quite high. I think this seat's really nice so far. All I have to do now is to install the back part using that piece back there, that black piece back there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It goes right here. These three holes. This is really nice. I've just connected this metal bar and you can actually cover it with that fabric so it looks like it's not there. This piece over here will just screw into the back of here. Just look at the manual how they say it's supposed to be. Up here. And these are the screws you're going to use. And let's do this and then we can technically be done. So just finished up the chair, still need to put the armrest, but everything is pretty functional. If you pull this lever back here, it'll bring the chair back to a 90 degrees. Wow, it's really quick, but yeah, it looks really nice and it's really comfortable as well. I'm just going to put the armrest and give you a final overview. So just finished up with the final touches, got the armrest installed, the seat the cushions. The nice thing is you can have this wherever you want. You can have a higher or a lower. Same thing with the headrest. But I find this is the best position for me so far. Um, the chair reclines almost 180 degrees and with the footrest taken out you can basically lay down. And this is the best thing for taking your online classes. You can sleep and also study. And yeah that's why I'm going to have to end this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. It looks really good as well. 
The only thing is, it kind of takes up a ton of space. But that's what you kind of get. It is a pretty big chair. But anyways, that's all I have to say. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.